Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as a Four Kids at One Four Seven, and I've got some other lovely goodies to show you from GBFKE. Um, kind enough to send me some items to share with you all. So we'll start with the one that can already be seen. Now, this is something that we many of us all use and quite have, often have to order sort of separately to our diamond painting. So I was quite excited to find these on a site that actually sold diamond paintings so that they could all be sent as one thing. Um, but these are two centimetres by one centimetre, so 20 millimetres by 10 millimetres and you get 2,000 which is perfect for when you want to kit up paintings for example in these boxes they fit they do also fit on the round top ones as well they didn't have any round option um, but they I do go through the square ones um, I use them on my recent advent calendar to number each one and I do use them on some of my other storage and I actually find that they can work very well for other little projects um, so for example I write um, I wrap up a few things that go into the children's stockings and they don't need gift tags so I just put their initial on one of these and pop it on so that I know which is which many other things that I'm sure you could use them for. But I do like the fact that they come on a roll. It's just a lot easier to manage. It can sort of sit in my little pegboard and I can just pull off a strip um, and work with them like that. So I thought that was a good item. If you're picking up something anyway, it's always nice to be able to pick up a few essentials while you're at it. Um, and not all sites have them, so that's why it was like, aha, I like the fact they sell these. And then for the other, so we've got a, another small diamond painting and then I have a bigger one, is I liked the impact of this one. I thought this would look amazing in a kitchen, potentially. And it is round, it doesn't look to come with the MC numbers. So let me just get this to light black. All the symbols are letters. They do look fairly easy to read. There are a couple, um, they, they do have both O and D on this side so this this amount actually holds an O and a D. I can see them under this light. I don't know whether it would have been better for them to either use symbols that weren't as similar or to maybe put them in a darker colour on a couple of them. But when they do are dealing with what I'm guessing is black or dark brown they do use a white symbol so that's good. Uh, we get a standard toolkit, pen boat wax, and then, oh, we do have the DMC numbers. So the DMC numbers are on the back, along with the painting. So J1255 is the name of the painting, and that's what tell you these diamonds go with it. Um, so to show you the colours, we do have what is a very dark brown, so it's actually 938. We have quite a few nice reds, oranges, pinks, and then we do have what looks like a bit of black. There's no real point in me taking them out because you can actually see the colours better like that. Um, but yeah, I like that. We do have a rogue one, a rogue diamond, but apart from that, I like the fact that they're in baggies. They look to be done by weight. But if you did want to just get on and do this one and don't have any storage, you could just use it straight out of the bags. So I thought that was nice and vibrant. Now, what size are we? So the actual diamond painting area is 24 by 34. So a little bit of a wider border 
than you can end up with on some but I just thought that was such a nice striking simple image that would look amazing in a kitchen and it's only 13 colours and there's not too much that's actually blocky we've got A, B and C all mixed up in here we've got D, O and J all mixed up in here so along with a bit of G so there is some variety in there so that you don't get too bored and down here we have got X and D mixed up so I'm guessing that is the what the 310 and the 939 so you've got a little bit of variety while still getting your pop of colour so that's that one and then for the other big one what was this one I will recognise it as soon as I see it. But it's definitely big. Oh, oh, woodlands. I do like my woodland scenes. So this one is like a yellow walkway. So we've got the walkway down the yellow path with the trees that of course dropped all the yellow leaves onto the ground sorry you're going to have to sort of turn your head that way so that you can see it and um, this one oh it only has 12 colors there is no 310 but it does have training wheels so that's why it looks so much darker if you have a look there are actually training wheels what I call training wheels anyway which is little circles around the symbol to help you place them that can sometimes be tricky around the white if you don't place them exactly which is why I prefer not to have them but I will of course let you know when this one is completed and I do a review I will let you know whether that has caused any problems or not because it's a big one, they do give you two toolkits. I don't know why. Um, and they do have DMC numbers. So while we don't have many, oh, hang on, excuse the noise. While we do only have 12 colours, there is multiples of each colour. So we have a couple of bags of number four, for example. We have a couple of bags of that colour. And they're all oranges and yellows. Are they all the same? Oh, wow. Yes. So they are all number eight. <laughs> all of those are number eight. We have multiples of the yellow. Only a few darker ones and white ones. And then we have quite a few again of the bright yellow and, and then a couple of packets of the brown so there's a lot of duplicates of colours but the mix does look quite good so there are some areas of blockiness but not too much it does seem as though they get the effect um, by mixing up these but even though they're the same colour you're not getting a blocky effect from it you are getting a mix so that's quite nice you get the confetti but without too many colours oh. oh there we go got it to close um so yeah while we do have sort of a block of the number one symbol around here where it's lighter you can also see that that is what we have on the image there is a block of the lighter but then the rest is pretty much a mirror image of those few colors mixed together with of course hints of brown for the trees and white for the sort of light peeping through but now i think that one is going to be a really nice one to do uh, have quite a nice effect and may or may not end up in my haul because that's the colouring. Um, true diamond painting size of this one. It doesn't actually say what it's supposed to be or what it was advertised at, but the drill area is just under 79 centimetres, 
whereas the canvas is 85 and it is 35 centimetres across whereas the canvas is 40. So my guess is it's been advertised as an 80, 85 by 40 and you get a little bit shorter than that for the actual diamond painting area but I do think that's going to pop a bit more with colour once it's done because of those because it has got the circles around the symbols, the training wheels, as I call them, um, because they are there, it tends to make the image look darker. But once you've placed all the diamonds, it definitely will pop. It is a poured glue. Glue quality is really good. Um, and it's just got my light shining on it, of course, but it's already flattened out loads. If in doubt, just put it underneath a rug or something, they'll be flat in a few days. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got that big one. In fact, we've got very similar colours for this one. We've got a bit more vibrant yellow and vibrant red, red in this wine glass. And then, if you're ordering anyway, get yourself a staple. Um, always a good idea to have these stickers on hand, especially when you, when you want to get projects done. Um, but yeah, we've got 12 colours on one and 13 on another. So quite low in the amount of colours on these ones, but give impact and pop in very different ways. So I'll bob the links to them down below. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you all again soon.